Hey guys, Block Squad 1000 here, and welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we uh, met up with Bolson. Uh, sorry, Hudson. <laughs> a guy from Bolson Construction. And uh, he's building a new town in Hyrule called Terrytown, and he wants us to help him out. So, in order to do that, we got to uh, go and find a guy, a Goron to be specific. Who, uh, his name ends with Sun, because for some reason Bolson Construction only hires people whose name ends with Sun, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. If that's what he wants, we'll do it. Um, okay, so we're just gonna kill this guy. Besides that, we, um, we also saw Cass one final time, and we got some closure with his story. Uh, we learned that, we, we heard the final song that he learned from his teacher, and we learned that, uh, it was sort of like a message for us, but he didn't know that because he doesn't know that we're the hero that was mentioned in those songs. So that's pretty cool. Um, now then, the Goron that we're looking for is in the southern mine of Goron City, so we're going to head over there, and yeah, we'll go and see how he's doing and go hire him. So, we're going to climb up here, and okay. Here's the southern mine. So, as far as I know, uh, you have to wait till it's nighttime in order to talk to him. Well, you you can talk to him, but like you have to wait till nighttime for him to listen to you. Because for some reason, I guess he's too busy working during the day. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep by the fire here. Okay, let's go till nighttime. And, whoa! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, I think that this is the one we're supposed to talk to? Oh. Yes, it's Grayson. Come on, I'm on break. What is it? And you are? I'm Grayson. I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig and I dig, day in and day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. I feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. <sighs> is there a job out there uh, for me that would let me use my strength to make a difference? There is. Huh? There is. Where? Please tell me more. Terrytown. Terrytown? Never heard of it. What's the deal with that place? Hmm. Akala. Terrytown. So there is somewhere out there that needs me. Hmm. Akala isn't too far from here. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna strike while the iron's hot. Uh -huh. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Pelis son and I are gonna head that way right away. God damn, he's got like the biggest smile on his face. I love him. While I'm at it. Pally son, we're gonna leave. Mm. Hmm? Well, his son certainly didn't have many objections there. <laughs> okay then, so now that we've done that, I guess we can head back and speak with Bo uh, Hudson. I almost said Bolson again. It's Hudson, god damn it. Um so unfortunately, there is no uh, shrine that's right on Terrytown. So the the only one that you can take that's closest to it is the one that's like overlooking the cliff, and you have to glide over to it. It's kind of stupid, but I don't know. Who cares? Oh, and it's raining. Interesting. Okay, let's go and let's go and meet him. Can't even see anything, but it's over here. Let's hope we don't get struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing my luck, it's going to happen at any moment. And would you look at that? They've already built plenty of houses over there. They certainly worked fast. <laughs> I mean, I just spoke with... I just spoke with Grayson like five seconds ago. And they've already built an entire new house and everything. Um, okay. This guy's certainly dedicated. He's working even in the thunder and the rain and everything. Yo! Hey! You sent some Gorons back here. That's perfect. The brute strength of a Goron is undeniable. Those boulders don't stand a chance against them. And with names like Grayson and Pelison, they'll fit right in. Also, Pelison started selling the ore found within the boulders. You should go say hello again. Well, next is... Uh-huh. So, before more people can move here, we need we need homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 20 bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Well, we got some more grinding to do, so there's... We gotta get 20 bundles of wood this time. Of 
course we can just go ahead and cut down some more of these trees around here, but we are going to have to go down and get some get some wood from over there. So, yeah, I suppose I'll just cut ahead till I have 20 bundles because I don't think that you guys want to sit through this and watch me just chop down trees for several minutes. So I'll be right back. One thing that you will notice that I forgot to mention is that the music is starting to evolve. This, uh, the theme that plays inside of Terrytown sort of evolves as you bring more people to it to show that it's sort of like a melting pot, a melting pot of different Hyrulean cultures. It's kind of cool. You can, um, you can hear the, the trumpets for representing, uh, representing, like, Goron City and everything. Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice theme. A lot of people really, really like this song, and I certainly do as well. Okay, there we go. I got my 20 bundles of wood. Hey, did you bring the 20 bundles of wood? I brought them. Excellent. Can I have them? Yep. You're a lifesaver. Just casually hands 20 bundles of wood from his pocket. <laughs> well, next is... Working such long hours every day really works on my clothes. Sorry, wears on my clothes. Could you look for someone who's got a gift for tailoring for me? Tailoring? If we're talking about tailoring, there could be someone among the Gerudo who's good at that. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolsa construction policy that someone's name must end in sun. Yeah. If you run into anyone that fits with that, with, with what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. Okay, so... Now then, the next area we want to head to is actually not Gerudo Town, surprisingly. We actually want to go to Karakara Bazaar. So I'll head over there. While we're here, I'm gonna do some more wood chopping, because, uh, spoiler alert, yes, we are gonna have to gather more wood for later. So, might as well get started now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Karakara Bazaar, I'm just kind of chopping down all your trees. It's kind of a dick move for me to do, but you think I give a shit? Definitely not. <laughs> I just love how... I love how nobody gets angry at the fact that just some stranger just comes along and literally cuts down all their trees and steals all their resources. It's, uh, certainly something. I mean, you can definitely imagine Link in this game as being some sort of absolute psychopath who just destroys the wildlife piece by piece. Uh, because you can totally roleplay like that in this game if you want. <laughs> it is pretty funny. Okay. Okay, so the person in question is this person right here, Ronson. Savota. Who are you? Uh, you. You're a Voe, aren't you? I am. Why? Hmm. No, I bet Mama would have would have a problem with a delicate Voe like you. Oh yes, I'm Ronson. I hail from Grudo Town. This search for the love of my life. I'm so exhausted by it. Search? Uh, I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Hylian like you, but. I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Why the rush? You don't know, really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as a people, we travel to find husbands. I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the voa, voa I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Go to Terrytown! Eh? What is it? It's so abrupt. It's so abrupt, too. Let me hear the details. Hudson and Terrytown needs a tailor? It's something, I suppose. The Akala region is kind of far away, but maybe I need to travel. Getting far away from a village full of eye. But it's not like I've, I'm accomplishing anything by staying here. I can continue my search in Terrytown. Thanks for all the information. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go home and pack a huge bag. It'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll no doubt see you again in Terrytown. And now we'll go back and see the progress again. Okay. Would you look at that? They've got more houses built. Certainly some impressive progress we got going on here. Well, let's go and. Uh, Speak with Hudson again. We could also go and speak with the people who are now living here. Also, there's a doggy! Hello! But, uh, yeah. First, speak with Hudson. Hey! We found some of them from the Gerudo. Thank you. She was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty... er... amazing. And since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. 
I hear she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. Well, next is... Uh-huh. So before more people can move here, we need more homes for them to live in. Could you bring me 30 bundles of wood? <laughs> if you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Well, I think that's enough progress we've made for now. I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna not worry about anything uh, for the next little while. I think next episode we'll uh, we'll come back and do more progress here. But for now, let's go and speak with. Uh, how are you? Huzzah! Hey, it's you. As you can see, I'm working real hard. Hudson praises me a ton for breaking these rocks. We're finding some nice ore too. My little brother Pellison even started an ore shop. Check it out when you get a chance. Okay. And then Ronson over here has opened a little clothing shop, but we already own that armor set, so it's not very useful for us. But it is an alternative if you don't want to worry about, you know, uh, you don't want to worry about doing that side quest where you unlock it and everything, but I don't know. So there's these nice homes in here. Pretty cool. You have this whole town that you can just build from scratch. It's a... Uh, I really, really appreciate this little side quest. The fact that there's this entire town that you can completely miss in the game is just really cool. Um, but yeah. So now that we've done all of that, we're gonna do some shrines. And I know the one that we're gonna do next. We're gonna head over here towards Rito Village. I think it's you that we wanna speak with, so let's do that. Good morning. I heard that Divine Beast Vamado has been appeased. It just sends my heart soaring. Well, you're certainly late hearing this news. Um, <laughs> because it's been sitting up there for like weeks now. Um, Okay. I didn't even realize I had started singing this old song. Did you hear me singing it? Teach it to me. Huh? Well, that's embarrassing. Ahem. <laughs> the pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. I'm not going to bother singing it because I can never make it work and it's really cringy and embarrassing, so I will speak the lyrics. Uh, there's more to the song, but I forget the rest of the words. You should ask my sister, L Lysa, if you want to know the rest. Okay. The ancient Rito song. Uh, so Lysa, I don't know where she is, but we'll look around. It's not you... Okay, so that's where the chief is, so it's... She's got to be down here somewhere. Uh, are you... Are... Oh, are... Good morning. So Bedoli told you I would sing you the last half of the ancient Rito song? Her memory really is the worst. I can help you. But there is a catch. <laughs> Recite the first half of her memory and I will teach you the second half. Oh shit, I forgot. Okay, um, I'll give it a shot. Go ahead. Uh, I think it's the Pride of the Rito. Correct. And after that, Pillar in the Sky. Ah, right again. And then, its heart lights up. Well done. Now for the final line. Uh, when the sun is high. Aha, you got every word right. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll teach you the last half of the song. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. That's the second half of the ancient Rito song. Profound, isn't it? <laughs> if you say so. Well, so what we have to do now is we have to... I don't remember. Is that it down there? Yeah, I think that is. You see that uh, platform? We're going to jump down to it. And we're going to chill out over there for a little bit. Um, you see, okay, this will make a little bit more sense once we get down there. Okay. So we're over here now, and if we look up at Rito Village, we can see precisely what it was talking about. We see a heart in the pillar. The lyrics did mention that, of course. Um, so the pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. So, to be totally honest, I don't quite remember how this works, but all I know is that you have to wait until the sun shines upon the heart. And I don't know when it's going to do that, because, of course... I don't know which direction the sun is actually moving in at the moment. But what I do know is that we have to have fire arrows. So, I'm going to wait a little bit. I'll probably just build a fire so I can... 
uh, skip through this a little bit, so I'll be right back. There we go. Okay, so when the sun is shining, shoot the pill. So shoot the platform with a fire arrow, and that's how you do it. Pretty cool. I uh, yeah. When I first uh, when I first did it, I thought you had to actually shoot the uh, the pillar. So I, I kept aiming for the heart, and I kept missing it, and I was like, what am I supposed to do? But yeah, you're just supposed to shoot the platform. It's, uh... That's it. Okay. Hello, choo-choos. How about I set you on fire? How's, how about that? Ow. I will pick up all your jelly. I'll make a delicious jelly sandwich out of it. <laughs> I wonder what choo-choo jelly actually tastes like. I mean, in, uh, in Wind Waker, you can make potions out of them. But I don't know if they taste very good. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let's do it. So this one is... Oh, I do remember this one. Yep. Okay. You set foot in the shrine. I am Burita Nag. In the name of the goddess, highly I offer this trial. This one is... Canon. That's it. Just canon. But, uh... This one is pretty cool, actually. You basically have to put a bomb inside here, and then when you blow it up, it shoots out this ball, and it hits that. But now all these things are going to start moving. So we have to do... We have to be a little bit more careful with our aiming this time. So... I'm going to do it... Not yet. I'm going to wait till they're all... Now... There we go. I was worried that it would hit it there, but we made it. Okay. So, we could just go ahead and get the Spirit Orb right now. That was certainly easy, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to go over here and do some additional stuff. Because there is a reward for doing so. Um, so, now even the thing in the back is moving, so we need to be extra careful. Well, we got it first try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not very hard, but I don't know. It's cool, I guess. I mean, I like it quite a bit. Okay. So this is a diamond. Pretty good reward, if I do say so myself. But, is that... No, wait, there's more. There's another, another chest we haven't gotten yet, so let's try to find that. Because I don't want to leave here without getting all the chests, of course. Um... Let's see here. Where could it be? I actually don't really know. Uh, oh, wait a second. It's just right here. <laughs> Cheeky. Okay. Open that up. A falcon bow. I'll take that. Or not. Thank you very much. Ah, Jesus Christ. Um, let's get rid of golden bow. I don't care about that quite as much. Okay. Falcon bow it is. And with extra durability, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's get that spirit orb and get out of here, and then we'll end the episode off. Hey, sir. How you doing? Boosh. And skip what you have to say. And we can go and turn on the spirit orbs for an extra heart container. We could do that. I'll wait till next episode, though. Why not? Well, everybody, that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Next time, we'll go back to Terrytown, get some more stuff to do from Mr. From Mr. Uh, Hudson. I almost said Bolson again. We'll do that, and then we will uh, go and get a couple more shrines. Yeah, we're just going to sort of balance it out. We'll do some Terrytown stuff and do some Shrine stuff. Sounds good to me. See you guys later. Bye.